oxidizing and reducing agents at the end of this lecture i will teach you my personal trick of remembering list of oxidizing agents and reducing agents which no one can teach you now let me teach you a fast method of learning oxidizing and reducing agents to learn it we have to quickly learn oxidation and reduction in the previous video we have already learned that oxidation is 100 and reduction is door here 100 stands for increased oxidation number is oxidation and door stands for decreased oxidation number is reduction for example consider sodium atom now this sodium loses one electron to become positive ion here we can see that the oxidation number of sodium increased from 0 to positive 1 so we say that sodium is oxidized now listen carefully this lost electron is gained by the chlorine atom to become negative ion we can see that the oxidation state of chlorine decreased from 0 to negative 1 so it is reduced now let me ask you how sodium is oxidized and chlorine is reduced well the answer is simple it is due to the availability of two opposite species i mean sodium loves to lose electrons and chlorine loves to gain electrons let me repeat this important point sodium loves to lose electrons and chlorine loves to gain electrons so it is due to the opposite nature that sodium loses electron and get oxidized while chlorine gains electron and get reduced now listen carefully sodium is oxidized by chlorine because chlorine forces sodium to lose electron so we call sodium as reducing agent secondly chlorine is reduced by the sodium because sodium forces chlorine to accept electron so we call chlorine as oxidizing agent here the easy trick is to use opposite words sodium is oxidized so it is reducing agent while chlorine is reduced so it is oxidizing agent now let me teach you some real life examples i will use these four rules to instantly spot oxidation and reduction for example consider carbon plus oxygen gas react together to form carbon dioxide here carbon is in free state and oxygen gas is also in free state according to this rule we know that in free state the oxidation number of any species is zero in case of carbon dioxide it is a combined state here there is one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen i write carbon plus 2 oxygen is equal to 0 because the overall charge on carbon dioxide is zero we know that the oxidation state of oxygen and its compound is negative 2 so i write carbon plus 2 and to negative 2 is equal to 0 our carbon is equal to positive 4 so the oxidation state of carbon is positive 4 now we can see that the oxidation state of carbon increased from 0 to positive 4 so it is oxidized now the trick is to use the opposite word i write reducing agent secondly we can see that the oxidation state of oxygen decreased from 0 to negative 2 so it is reduced now the trick is to use opposite word i write oxidizing agent thus here carbon is reducing agent and oxygen is oxidizing agent secondly consider hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas react together to form water we know that hydrogen gas and oxygen gas is in free state so i write zero oxidation state for hydrogen and zero oxidation state for oxygen in case of water there are two atoms of hydrogen and there is one atom of oxygen so i write 2h plus oxygen is equal to zero because the overall charge on water is zero we know that 
the oxidation state of oxygen and its compound is negative 2. So I write 2H plus negative 2 is equal to 0 or H is equal to positive 1. So the oxidation state of hydrogen is positive 1 and that of oxygen is negative 2. Now we can see that the oxidation state of hydrogen increased from 0 to positive 1. So it is oxidized. The trick is to use opposite word. I write reducing agent. Secondly, we can see that the oxidation state of oxygen decreased from 0 to negative 2. So it is reduced. The trick is to use opposite word. I write oxidizing agent. Thus here, hydrogen gas is reducing agent and oxygen gas is oxidizing agent. Finally, let me teach you my personal and easy trick to remember the list of common oxidizing agents and common reducing agents. In case of common oxidizing agents, I write HMCC, no halogen, 2H2K for computer science. Here, these all are oxides like hydrogen peroxide, manganese oxide, calcium oxide, chromium oxide. Now here, N stands for nitrogen gas, O stands for oxygen gas, while halogens like fluorine gas, chlorine gas, bromine gas and iodine. Here, one H stands for sulfuric acid and another H stands for nitric acid HNO3. While in case of 2K, one K stands for KMNO4, while the other K stands for potassium dichromide. Here, F stands for iron chloride. This C stands for carbon dioxide and this S stands for sulfur trioxide. Thus, using my personal trick, you can easily learn the list of common oxidizing agents. In case of reducing agents, I write metals and non-metals. I write group 1, group 2, then I write group 1 plus hydrogen, group 2 plus hydrogen. In case of non-metal, I write H plus halogens and then I write Cambridge Public High School. Lastly, I write 2H for cousin. Now the group 1 elements like lithium, potassium, sodium and the group 2 elements like calcium, magnesium are all reducing agents. Also, lithium hydride, potassium hydride, magnesium hydride are all reducing agents. In case of non-metal, hydrogen fluoride, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen bromide are all reducing agents. While here, C stands for carbon, P stands for phosphorus, H stands for hydrogen, S stands for sulfur. While in case of 2H for cousin, 2H stands for H2S, hydrogen sulfide and another H stands for mercury chloride. This F stands for iron chloride, Cu stands for copper oxide and Sn stands for Sn chloride. Thus using this trick, we can easily learn the list of common reducing agents. I hope that you have learned all about reducing agents.